This video will demonstrate one way that you might go about evaluating a learning activity with a codable robot. I'll be using this YouTube video and the evaluation rubric found in the badge to show my thought process for the task. This video is meant as a guide, not a prescription. As you do this task, you may very well have your own methods and preferences for completing it, and that's great. But if you don't know where to start, this video might be helpful to you. To get started, let's talk about why I chose this particular artifact to evaluate. The badge requirements state, watch a video, read an article or blog post, or observe a live lesson that depicts, documents, and or demonstrates a learning activity with a codable robot of your choice, preferably within your teaching domain or a teaching domain that is closely related to your own. This activity meets all the necessary criteria. It is a video. It documents the end product of a learning activity. It uses the codable robot dash. And since the students here appear to be in middle school, it's the closest I could find to my teaching domain, which is secondary language arts. I've already started completing my rubric by filling out the information that identifies the learning activity being evaluated. Now let's move on to the evaluation itself. I'm going to start by getting the essentials of the criteria on the rubric in my head. I'll need to answer questions about developmental appropriateness, coding concepts, computational thinking concepts, and cross-curricular connections. I'll need to rate each area on a scale of 1 to 5, and write a comment about my assessment. As I watch this video, I'm going to pause it each time I see one of these four elements so that you can see my thinking in process. All right, so what are we doing here? Okay, so we're having Dash write the name Dot. Okay, so Dash is going to write the name Dot, and you had to do something to keep it from making a mess. What was that that you had to do? I had to keep on fixing so that his head goes up. Like all of these repeat until and look up. All of these is making sure that he corrects himself because otherwise he would just keep his head down the whole way and it would just look like scribbles because the turns in between the letters would show up unless I didn't make his head go up. All right. So at some point we're going to figure out how to make him keep his head up the whole time, yeah. right? Without having yeah. to touch him. I like what I'm seeing so far. I know that asking questions about what students are doing is a good teaching strategy for middle schoolers and a good way to help people come to their own conclusions about how to use technology. I don't know for sure whether the teacher was doing this the whole time, but it's at least promising that he's doing it now. I don't have enough information to give a rating on this yet, but I'm going to at least write down a note to come back to later. I also can see that the students here have used the computational thinking approach of debugging. They had a problem with Dash's head going down a lot, and that was making a mess on their paper, and they had to figure out how to fix the code to make that stop happening. This also implies that they were learning other CT approaches and attitudes such as tinkering and persevering. Finally, I can clearly see that the students are using some important major coding concepts like commands and loops since these are clearly visible on the iPad screen. All right, so here we go. Dash is going to draw the word dot. I can see here that the students are using an event, pressing the top button on Dash to trigger their code. Here, the robot is operating all by itself, without outside intervention from the students. Once they triggered the event, their algorithm is automating the process. This ties into the CT concept of algorithm design. And there we have it, dot. This clearly isn't a perfect algorithm. There are a few stray lines here and there on the paper, but a good lesson isn't necessarily about the product, but about the thinking processes and concepts they are learning in the process. 
I didn't see any evidence that the teacher helped the students to make any cross-curricular connections. So I'm going to mark this point with a zero and write a suggestion for what could have been done to improve this point. I'm also going to fill out the ratings for the other criteria based on my observation. The last step on the rubric asks me to evaluate the activity on the pick rat scale and write some suggestions about how to make the activity more creative and transformative. When I look at the left side of the pick rat matrix, I need to ask the question, how did the students interact with the technology? Since the students were designing an algorithm in the activity, I think I can safely say that the student's use of technology was creative. When I look at the bottom of the matrix, I need to ask the question, what did the teacher's use of technology do to traditional teaching practice? This is a tricky question because I'm not really sure what subject area this lesson would have been embedded in. I'm going to assume that the teacher was trying to teach them computer programming. In that case, the use of the robot and block-based code might replace the traditional practice of creating an algorithm on a computer with a language like JavaScript. However, since it's likely that block-based code enables students to start learning these concepts more quickly, easily, and at a younger age, and since the tangible nature of the robot provides a more concrete, tactile experience, I might say that the practice amplifies the more traditional approach. To get to the transform stage, I would really like to see some better meaning-making from the activity. This isn't that much different from a typical computer science activity, but if this activity can help students, for example, to apply more logical reasoning techniques to the next time they write a paper in English class, then I think we're really starting to transform practice. I'm going to give this activity a rating of CA, Creative Amplifies, and then write the suggestion that the teacher use questioning methods to help the students make more connections across the curriculum. Well, that's all. Thanks for watching.